Hello guys, it's me, and I'm back with another very thick tutorial. Today, we are going to be making future bounds like Mike Williams. Let's get right into this. First, we will set the tempo to 128 BPM. Next, we will need to figure out the MIDI for this track. I will start with creating a bass line. Now that we have the bass line we can figure out the chords. Now for the more difficult part, we need to create a melody. Something that Mike likes to do is to put the first note of the melody on a note that isn't in the chord. For example, my first chord is an F sharp minor chord, but the first note of the melody will be on a B. Now that we have the general idea, we can start working on some details. I will chop the chords up to fit with the melody. A little longer than a few minutes later. Copy and paste the chords onto the piano and fifth profit. There isn't much processing other than an EQ to cut the lows and a kickstart to sidechain. For the bass layer, I made a sub bass and two mid basses. Make sure to add some slides and notes that go one octave up to make it more bouncy. For the melody, add some nice leads that have a lot of white noise, so that it feels more energetic.
I forgot to show this but there is an automation clip that controls the reverb amount. Also, for the third part of the drop I replaced the lead with a whistle led with a pluck, both with heavy reverb. Here are the drums. You should also add some effects to make it feel like a future bounce track. Hey! Never forget this thing. For the intro, I grabbed a vocal loop from Simatics and built the intro around it. This is how the intro sounds. For the build up, start by relieving tension. As the build progresses, I recommend adding very simple risers. For the drop fill, grab a mesto snare, some bass sweeps, and a chant. Hey! I decided to make the fill more unique as well, so I added a chord fill that has a tape stop effect. This is how the build up sounds. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,